Get ready to have your mind blown by the astronomical salaries of the biggest names in news. In this video, we'll be taking a fascinating look at the highest paid news anchors of all time. From legendary anchors who have become household names to the new generation of media personalities, these superstars have not only captivated audiences with their journalistic prowess, but have also commanded jaw-dropping salaries that will make your head spin. You might think Anderson Cooper and Diane Sawyer are making bank, but wait until you see what the top dogs are earning. We'll explore the incredible careers and eye-popping paychecks of these news. Anchor Elite, revealing just how much the number one spot is worth. Trust us, you'll be shocked. Diane Sawyer. A real money team is back, saving you a lot of money on your doctor bill. Diane Sawyer, a veteran journalist and former anchor of ABC's World News Tonight, has an estimated net worth of $80 million and was earning a reported $22 million annual salary at the height of her career. Born in Glasgow, Kentucky, Sawyer began her career in broadcasting as a weather reporter for WLKY-TV in Louisville before joining the White House press staff during the Nixon administration. After a stint working for CBS News, Sawyer joined ABC News in 1989 as a co-anchor of Primetime Live. She went on to anchor Good Morning America from 1999 to 2009 before taking over as the war anchor of World News Tonight from 2009 to 2014. During her tenure at ABC, Sawyer conducted numerous high-profile interviews with world leaders, celebrities, and newsmakers, including Fidel Castro, Saddam Hussein, and Michael Jackson. Sawyer's reporting has earned her numerous accolades, including multiple Emmy Awards, Peabody Awards, and a Robert F. Kennedy Journalism Award. She has also been inducted into the Television Hall of Fame and the Broadcast Journalism Hall of Fame. In addition to her work in television, Sawyer has also been involved with various charitable organizations, including the United Nations Foundation and the International Women's Media Foundation. She has been a strong advocate for women's rights and has used her platform to raise awareness about issues such as domestic violence and gender inequality. Matt Lauer. And I kind of went up behind him and I said, I know, are those things real? And he turned to me and said, they better be real, that's my daughter. <gasps> Matt Lauer, the former co-anchor of NBC's Today Show, had an estimated net worth of $80 million and was earning a reported $25 million annual salary before he was fired from the network in 2017 due to allegations of sexual misconduct. Born in New York City, Lauer began his career in television as a producer for Wauk TV in West Virginia before joining NBC News as a news anchor in 1992. Lauer became the co-anchor of Today in 1997 and quickly became one of the most recognizable faces on morning television. During his tenure on the show, he interviewed countless celebrities, politicians, and newsmakers and covered major events such as the Olympics and the September 11th terrorist attacks. However, Lauer's career came to an abrupt end in November 2017 when NBC News fired him after receiving a complaint from a colleague about alleged inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace. The network subsequently conducted an investigation and found evidence of other instances of sexual misconduct by Lauer throughout his time at NBC. The scandal surrounding Lauer's departure from NBC had a significant impact on his personal and professional life. His wife, Annette Roque, filed for divorce in 2019, and he has largely stayed out of the, the public eye since his firing. Bill O'Reilly. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today, and we will leave you with a, I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. Well, no. We'll do it live! Bill O'Reilly, the former host of Fox News, The O'Reilly Factor, had an estimated net worth of $85 million and was earning a reported $25 million annual salary before he was ousted from the network in. 2017, amid allegations of sexual harassment, born in New York City, O'Reilly began his career in journalism as a reporter for local news stations before joining CBS News as a correspondent in 1982. 
O'Reilly joined Fox News in 1996 and quickly became one of the network's most popular and controversial figures. The O'Reilly Factor was consistently one of the highest rated cable news programs during his tenure, and O'Reilly used his platform to promote conservative views and attack liberals and the mainstream media. However, O'Reilly's career at Fox News came to an end in April 2017 after the New York Times reported that he and the network had paid out millions of dollars to settle multiple sexual harassment lawsuits against him. The revelations led to a massive advertiser boycott of his show, and Fox News ultimately decided to part ways with O'Reilly. Since his firing, O'Reilly has continued to produce content for his website and has published several books, including The United States of Trump, How the President Really Sees America, and Killing the SS, The Hunt for the Worst War Criminals in History. Megyn Kelly. The Trump case still has to go up on appeal. Your son's case is in the process of jury selection, so be quiet. Shut up. Pipe down. You don't have to comment on everything. Megyn Kelly, a former anchor for Fox News and NBC News, has an estimated net worth of $45 million and was earning a reported $23 million annual salary during her time at NBC. Born into Champaign, Illinois, Kelly began her career as a lawyer before transitioning to journalism in 2003. Kelly joined Fox News in 2004 and quickly rose through the ranks to become one of the network's most prominent anchors. She hosted her own show, The Kelly File, from 2013 to 2017 and gained national attention for her coverage of the 2016 presidential election and her clashes with then-candidate Donald Trump. In 2017, Kelly left Fox News to join NBC News, where she hosted a daytime talk show Megyn Kelly. Today, and a Sunday evening news magazine, Sunday Night with Megyn Kelly. However, her tenure at NBC was short-lived and controversial. In October 2018, she faced backlash for defending the use of blackface in Halloween costumes during a segment on her show, and NBC ultimately decided to cancel Megyn Kelly today and part ways with Kelly. Since leaving NBC, Kelly has continued to produce content for her YouTube channel and has been a particularly vocal critic of the mainstream media and cancel culture. Tucker Carlson. This is crazy, but there's actually a reason for it. People are getting very rich from this. People are getting very rich from this. That's why Washington supports it. Tucker Carlson, the former host of Fox News's Tucker Carlson Tonight, has an estimated net worth of $30 million and earned a reported $6 million annual salary during his time at the network. Born in San Francisco, California, Carlson began his career in journalism as a fact checker for Policy Review, a conservative magazine, before going on to work as a reporter for several newspapers and magazines. Carlson joined Fox News in 2009 as a contributor and became the host of his own show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, in 2016. The show was a rating success for Fox News, and Carlson used his platform to promote conservative views and criticize liberals and the mainstream media. However, Carlson faced controversy and criticism for his comments on race, immigration, and other sensitive topics. In 2019, he faced backlash for saying that white supremacy was a hoax and a conspiracy theory used to divide the country. He was also accused of promoting xenophobia and racism in his coverage of immigration and other issues. In April 2023, Fox News abruptly let Carlson go, ending his nearly seven-year run as the host of Tucker Carlson Tonight. The decision came in the wake of a lawsuit settlement involving Dominion Voting Systems, which had accused Fox News of promoting false claims about their voting machines in the aftermath of the 2020 presidential election. Since his departure from Fox News, Carlson has launched his own media venture on Twitter, now known as X, where he continues to share his conservative views and opinions with his large following. Despite the controversy surrounding his past work, Carlson remains an influential figure in conservative media, having published several books, including Ship of Fools, How a Selfish Ruling Class Is, Bringing America to the Brink of Revolution, and The Long Slide, 30 Years in American Journalism.
Brett Bayer. The home is listed for just under $32 million. It belongs to Fox News host Brett Bayer and is discreetly nestled in Upper Northwest DC. Brett Bayer, the host of Fox News, special report with Brett Bayer has an estimated net worth of $20 million and earns a reported $7 million annual salary. Born in Rumson, New Jersey, Bayer began his career in journalism as a reporter for a local television station in Rockford, Illinois, before joining Fox News in 1998. Bayer has held several positions at Fox News over the years, including Chief White House, Correspondent, and Pentagon Correspondent. In 2009, he became the host of Special Report, a nightly news program that focuses on political and national security issues. Bayer is known for his even-handed approach to journalism and has earned a reputation as one of the most respected and trustworthy anchors in cable news. He has interviewed numerous high-profile figures, including presidents, foreign leaders, and top military officials, and has covered major events, such as the 9-11's terrorist attacks and the Iraq War. In addition to his work at Fox News, Bayer is also the author of several books, including Three Days End, January, Dwight Eisenhower's Final Mission, and Three Days in Moscow, Ronald Reagan, and The Fall of the Soviet Empire. He is also actively involved in charitable work and has served as a spokesperson for the Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C., Lester Holt. So I know you've been doing this for a while now, but now that it is official, how does it feel? It feels different, and it shouldn't. I keep telling myself I've been you know, doing this on the weekends for years. I've done it for almost the last five months, but there was something different walking in the studio today and knowing that this is, this is where I'm going to be coming to work. The anchor of NBC's Nightly News and the host of Dateline NBC has an estimated net worth of $35 million and earns a reported $10 million annual salary. Born in Marin County, California, Holt began his career in journalism as a reporter for a local radio station in Sacramento before moving on to television news. Holt joined NBC News in 2000 as a reporter and anchor for MSNBC. He later became the co-anchor of Weekend Today and the anchor of Nightly News on Weekend. In 2015, he was named the permanent anchor of Nightly News, succeeding Brian Williams, who was suspended and later removed from the position due to a scandal involving false statements about his experiences covering the Iraq War. As the anchor of Nightly News, Holt has covered numerous major news events, including the 2016 and 2020 presidential elections, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the protests following the death of George Floyd. He has also conducted high-profile interviews with world leaders, including President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. In addition to his work on nightly news, Holt is also the host of Dateline NBC, a long-running news magazine program that focuses on true crime stories and investigation. He has won numerous awards for his journalism, including multiple Emmy Awards and a Robert F. Kennedy Journalism Award. Willie Geist. Think I so? know the terror of that moment. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so sure. Hoda Kotb, the Today Show host, and I have sure. a long-running joke where it's a blanket question of, what a year. <laughs> Willie Geist, the co-host of MSNBC's Morning Joe and the anchor of Sunday Today with Willie Geist, has an estimated net worth of $12 million and earns a reported $5 million annual salary. Born in Evanston, Illinois, Geist began his career in journalism as a producer for CNN Sports Illustrated before. Joining MSNBC in 2005, Geist has held several positions at MSNBC over the years, including host of Way Too Early with Willie Geist and co-host of Morning Joe. He has also contributed to NBC News programs such as Today and Nightly News. As the co-host of Morning Joe, Geist has interviewed numerous high-profile figures, including politicians, celebrities, and business leaders. He is known for his quick wit and easygoing interviewing style, which has helped make Morning Joe one of the most popular morning news programs on cable television. In addition to his work on Morning Joe, Geist is also the anchor of Sunday Today with Willie. Geist, a weekly news program that features in-depth interviews and stories on a wide range of topics. He has also authored several books, including American Freak Show, The Completely Fabricated, Stories of Our New National Treasures, and Good Talk Dad, The Birds and the Bees, and other 
conversations we forgot to have. Chris Cuomo. All right, now to a Fox News alert just breaking here in the last few moments. Chris Cuomo has been fired from CNN. CNN tweeting a statement reading in part, quote, we retained a respected law firm to conduct the review and have terminated him effective immediately. The former CNN anchor had an estimated salary of $6 million per year before his termination in 2021. Born in New York City, Cuomo comes from a family with a strong political background. His father, Mario Cuomo, served as the governor of New York from 1983 to 1994. And his brother, Andrew Cuomo, held the same position from 2011 to 2021. Cuomo began his journalism career as a correspondent for Fox News and ABC News, where he covered several high-profile stories, including the war in Afghanistan and the 9-11th terrorist attacks. Into 2013, he joined CNN as the host of his own primetime show, Cuomo Primetime, during his tenure. At CNN, Cuomo became known for his combative interview style and his willingness to challenge powerful figures, including then-President Donald Trump. However, Cuomo's career took a turn in 2021 when it was revealed that he had provided advice to his brother, Andrew Cuomo, who was facing sexual harassment allegations. This revelation led to Chris, Cuomo's suspension and eventual firing from CNN in December 2021. The network stated that Cuomo had violated their standards and practices by using his position to help his brother navigate the scandal. Despite the controversy surrounding his departure from CNN, Cuomo had a successful career in television news. He won numerous awards for his reporting, including an Emmy Award for his coverage of the 2006 Lebanon War. He was also named one of People Magazine's Sexiest Men Alive in 2010. In addition to his work in television, Cuomo is also an attorney. He graduated from Fordham University with a bachelor's degree in 1995 and earned his law degree from the Fordham University School of Law in 1995. Before entering journalism, he practiced law and worked as a Wall Street lawyer. Don Lemon. We have the gone through that I civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's and where I you and I have the a freedom different point that of black view. and white that black people don't have in this he, country, he, and that black people do have. Another former CNN anchor reportedly earned an estimated seven million dollars per year before his abrupt termination in 2023. Born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Lemon began his career as a news and assistant at WNYW in New York City before moving on to anchor positions at local news stations in North Alabama and Pennsylvania. In 2006, Lemon joined CNN as a correspondent and quickly rose through the ranks to become one of the network's most prominent anchors. He hosted CNN Tonight with Don Lemon, where he often tackled controversial topics and shared his personal opinions on current events. Lemon's approach to journalism was often polarizing, with some viewers praising his candor and others criticizing his perceived bias. Throughout his career, Lemon made headlines for his on-air disagreements with conservative politicians and commentators. In 2020, he faced backlash after suggesting that the black community should prioritize personal responsibility over systemic racism in addressing inequalities. Despite this controversy, Lemon remained a prominent figure at CNN until his sudden departure in 2023. Lemon's personal life has also been the subject of media attention. In 2011, he came out as gay in his memoir, Transparent, making him one of the few openly gay black men in television news. He has been an advocate for LGBTQ plus rights and has spoken out about the challenges he has faced as a gay black man in the media industry. Despite his sudden departure from CNN, Lemon's net worth is estimated to be around $12 million, largely due to his successful career in television news. He has won several awards for his journalism, including an Edward R. Murrow Award and multiple Emmy Awards. Shepard Smith. And we really messed up, and we're all very sorry. That didn't belong on TV. We took every precaution we knew how to take to keep that from being on TV. And I personally apologize to you that that happened. Shepard Smith, the former Fox News and CNBC anchor, reportedly earned an estimated $10 million per year before leaving CNBC 
in 2022. Born in Holly Springs, Mississippi, Smith began his journalism career as a reporter for WJHG-TV in Panama City, Beach, Florida, before joining Fox News in 1996. At Fox News, Smith quickly became one of the network's most recognizable faces, hosting The Fox Report with Shepard Smith and later Shepard Smith Reporting. Known for his straightforward reporting style and willingness to criticize the Trump administration, Smith often found himself at odds with some of Fox News's more conservative personalities. In 2017, Smith made headlines when he debunked a conspiracy theory that had been promoted by some of his colleagues at Fox News. The incident highlighted the tension between Smith's commitment to factual reporting and the network's increasingly partisan tone. In 2019, after 23 years with Fox News, Smith abruptly announced his departure from the network. He later revealed that he had felt uncomfortable with the network's direction and the blurring of lines between news and opinion programming. Following his departure from Fox News, Smith joined CNBC to host The News with Shepard Smith. The show aimed to provide a straightforward, nonpartisan approach to news coverage, but struggled to find an audience in a crowded media landscape. In 2022, CNBC announced that the show would be canceled due to low ratings, and Smith subsequently left the network. Throughout his career, Smith has been recognized for his journalism with several awards, including O Peabody Award and multiple Emmy Awards. He has also been an advocate for press freedom and has spoken out about the importance of maintaining journalistic integrity in an increasingly polarized media environment. Gail King. Have you done anything that you regret? Have you done anything wrong? Lots of things wrong when it comes to women that I apologize, but I apologize in those relationships. Gail King, co-host of CBS This Morning, reportedly earns between $10 $18 million per year. Born in Chevy Chase, Maryland, King began her career as a reporter and news anchor for WFSB-TV in Hartford, Connecticut, before joining The Oprah Winfrey Show as a special correspondent in 1986. King's friendship with Oprah Winfrey has been a defining feature of her career. The two met while working at a Baltimore television station in the early 1980s and have remained close friends ever since. In 2011, King hosted her own talk show, The Gail King Show, on Winfrey's own Oprah Winfrey Network. In 2012, King joined CBS News as co-host of CBS This Morning, where she has conducted numerous high-profile interviews with politicians, celebrities, and newsmakers. She has been praised for her empathetic yet incisive interview style and her ability to handle sensitive topics in with grace and professionalism. One of King's most notable interviews was with R&B singer R. Kelly in 2019, following the release of the documentary series Surviving R. Kelly, which detailed allegations of sexual abuse against the singer. During the interview, Kelly became visibly agitated and emotional, at one point standing up and shouting at the camera. King remained calm and composed throughout the exchange, earning widespread praise for her handling of the situation. In addition to her work at CBS, King is also an editor-at-large for O. The Oprah Magazine. She has been recognized for her contributions to journalism with several awards, including three Emmy Awards and a Peabody Award. King has also been open about her personal life and the challenges she has faced. In 2016, she revealed that she had been diagnosed with a precancerous condition and underwent surgery to have her uterus removed. She has since become an advocate for women's health and has encouraged women to prioritize their own well-being. Savannah Guthrie. Savannah Guthrie, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. So you're going to have to get used to that. I was going to say, I'm glad you played it again because I was so nervous I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> Savannah Guthrie, co-anchor of NBC's Today Show, reportedly earns between $10, $18 million per year. Born in Melbourne, Australia, Guthrie grew up in Tucson, Arizona, and earned a bachelor's degree in journalism from the University of Arizona. Guthrie began her career as a broadcast journalist at local news stations in Missouri and Arizona before joining Court TV as a legal correspondent in 2004. She later worked as a White House correspondent for NBC News and a co-host of MSNBC's The Daily Rundown. In 2012, 
Guthrie was named co-anchor of the Today Show, replacing Ann Curry. She has since become a beloved figure on the show, known for her warm personality and her ability to connect with. Viewers, Guthrie has also conducted numerous high-profile interviews, including sit-downs with President Barack Obama, President Donald Trump, and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. In addition to her work on the Today Show, Guthrie is also an attorney. She earned a law degree from Georgetown University Law Center in 2002 and worked as a litigation associate at a Washington, D.C. law firm before transitioning to journalism. Guthrie has been open about her personal life and the challenges of balancing work and family. Ended 2014, she announced on the Today Show that she was pregnant with her first child at the age of 42. She gave birth to a daughter, Vail, later that year and welcomed a son, Charles, in 2016. Guthrie has also been an advocate for various charitable causes. In 2018, she traveled to Puerto Rico to report on the aftermath of Hurricane Maria and to raise awareness about the ongoing recovery efforts on the island. She has also been involved with the March of Dimes, a nonprofit organization that works to improve the health of mothers and babies. George Stephanopoulos and Robin Roberts. We get to say good morning, America. We get to say to America, good morning. There's, there's, there's no better feeling. So that's why I, I just really wanted to get back and, and to do that. And, uh, uh, but I, I, I think that's what all people and, really and want. We will never forget the morning you came back. Oh. You have to say it again. George Stephanopoulos and Robin Roberts, co-anchors of ABC's Good Morning America, both reportedly earned between $10 $18 million per year. Stephanopoulos and Roberts have helped make Good Morning America one of the most popular and successful morning shows on television with a mix of hard news, lifestyle segments, and celebrity interviews. George Stephanopoulos began his career as a political advisor to the Clinton administration, serving as communications director for the 1992 presidential campaign and later as a senior advisor in the White House. In the late 1990s, he transitioned to journalism, joining ABC News as a political analyst and correspondent. In 2002, Stephanopoulos became the host of ABC's Sunday morning political talk show, This Week. He held that position until 2010, when he was named co-anchor of Good Morning America. In addition to his work on The Morning Show, Stephanopoulos also serves as the chief anchor for ABC News, leading the network's coverage of major news events and political campaigns. Robin Roberts began her career as a sports journalist and anchor for ESPN, where she worked for 15 years. In 2005, she joined Good Morning America as a co-anchor, bringing her warmth, empathy, and journalistic skills to the morning show format. In 2007, Roberts was diagnosed with breast cancer and underwent surgery and chemotherapy. She took a leave of absence from Good Morning America to focus on her treatment and recovery and documented her experience in a series of video diaries that aired on the show. Robert's openness about her health struggles earned her widespread admiration and support from viewers. In 2012, Roberts faced another health challenge when she was diagnosed with a rare blood disorder called myelodysplastic syndrome, MDS. She underwent a bone marrow transplant and took another leave of absence from Good Morning America to recover. Once again, Roberts documented her experience and shared updates with viewers, raising awareness about MDS and the importance of bone marrow donation. Throughout their careers, both Stephanopoulos and Roberts have conducted numerous high-profile interviews with politicians, celebrities, and newsmakers. They have also covered major news events, including presidential elections, natural disasters, and social and political movements. In addition to their work on Good Morning America, both anchors have also been involved with various charitable causes. Stephanopoulos has served on the board of directors for the nonprofit organization CARE, which works to fight global poverty, while Roberts has been an advocate for cancer research and education. Anderson Cooper. I love watching your show. I watch it every night when I get home. I got my glass of wine, a little, you know, handful of nuts, and I gotta have my Anderson every night, okay? <laughs> Um, uh, and I want to talk to you about the election. I like um, the guy who grabs his nuts before watching me. What exactly. Yeah. Anderson Cooper, the host of CNN's Anderson Cooper 360 Degrees, reportedly earns between $20.25 million per year. Born in New York City, Cooper is the son of Gloria Vanderbilt, a famous fashion designer and socialite, and Wyatt Cooper, a writer and actor. 
Cooper began his journalism career as a fact checker for Channel One News before becoming a correspondent for ABC News in 1995. He covered several major news events for ABC, including the genocide in Rwanda and the civil war in Bosnia-Herzegovina. In 2001, Cooper joined CNN as a correspondent and anchor. He quickly made a name for himself with his coverage of breaking news events, including the September 11th terrorist attacks and the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. In 2003, he became the host of his own show, Anderson Cooper 360 Degrees, which has become one of CNN's most popular and influential program. Known for his incisive reporting and his ability to remain calm and composed in high pressure. Situations, Cooper has covered numerous major news events throughout his career. He has reported from war zones in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria, and has covered natural disasters such as the 2010 Haiti earthquake and the 2011 Japan earthquake and tsunami. In addition to his work at CNN, Cooper is also a regular contributor to CBS News 60 Minutes. He has conducted numerous high-profile interviews for the show, including sit-downs with Apple CEO Tim Cook, former FBI director James Comey, and Stormy Daniels, the adult film actress who alleged an affair with President Donald Trump. Cooper has also hosted several documentary series for CNN and HBO, including Planet in Peril, which examined environmental issues around the world, and The Rainbow Comes and Goes, which explored his relationship with his mother and her life as a socialite and fashion icon. Throughout his career, Cooper has been open about his personal life and the challenges he has faced. In 2012, he came out as gay, becoming one of the most prominent openly gay journalists on television. He has spoken about the importance of visibility and representation for LGBTQ plus people in the media. Cooper has also been involved with various charitable causes, including the Elton John AIDS Foundation and the Robert F. Kennedy Center for Justice and Human Rights. In 2015, he donated his entire inheritance from his mother's estate, estimated to be worth $1.5 million, to various charities. With a reported net worth of $200 million, Cooper is one of the wealthiest and most successful news anchors in the world. He has won numerous awards for his journalism, including several Emmy Awards and a Peabody Award. Sean Hannity. He said, I would be dictator for the day and just to secure the border and, and drill for oil. I thought it was tongue in cheek. I was sitting there with you. The host of Fox News, Hannity, and the nationally syndicated radio show, the Sean Hannity Show reportedly earns an estimated $25 million per year. Born in New York City, Hannity began his career as a radio talk show host in the late 1980s before joining Fox News as a political commentator in 1996. Hannity's conservative political views and close relationship with former President Donald Trump have made him one of the most influential and controversial figures in American media. He has been a vocal supporter of Trump and his policies, often using his platform to defend the former president and attack his critic. In addition to his television and radio shows, Hannity is also a best-selling author. His books, which include Let Freedom Ring, Winning the War of Liberty Over Liberalism, and Live Free or Die, America and the World on the Brink, have sold millions of copies and have helped to cement his status as a leading conservative voice. Despite his success, Hannity has faced criticism and controversy throughout his career. In 2017, he was accused of promoting a conspiracy theory about the murder of DNC staffer Seth Rich. Hannity later retracted his comments and apologized to Rich's family. Hannity has also been criticized for his close relationship with Trump and his perceived lack of journalistic objectivity. In 2018, it was revealed that Hannity was a client of Michael Cohen, Trump's former personal attorney, who had arranged a secret payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels on the former president's behalf. Despite the controversy surrounding his work, Hannity remains one of the most popular and influential figures in conservative media. His television show, Hannity, consistently ranks among the highest South rated programs on cable news, and his radio show is heard by millions of listeners each week. In addition to his media work, Hannity is also involved with various charitable causes. He has been a vocal supporter of the military and has worked with organizations such as the Freedom Alliance, which 
provides scholarships to the children of fallen soldiers. With a reported net worth of over $250 million, Hannity is one of the highest paid and most successful news anchors in the world. He has used his platform and influence to shape the political discourse in the United States and has become a polarizing figure in American media. Rachel Maddow. The effect of all of this legal jeopardy and now this felony conviction on candidate Trump for 2024 has been an open and evolving question with the public. The host of MSNBC's The Rachel Maddow Show reportedly earns an estimated $30 million per year, making her the highest paid news anchor on television. Born in Castro Valley, California, Maddow began her career as a radio host and political commentator before joining MSNBC. As a political analyst in 2008, Maddow's progressive political views and in-depth analysis of complex issues have made her one of the most popular and influential voices in liberal media. She has used her platform to cover a broad range of topics from the investigation into alleged Russian interference in the 2016 election to the e-COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on American society. However, Maddow's success has not come without criticism. Some conservatives have accused her of bias and of promoting a liberal agenda on her show. They argue that her reporting is often one-sided and that she fails to present a balanced perspective on the issues she covers. In 2017, she was criticized for reporting on a story about President Donald Trump's tax returns which turned out to be less newsworthy than initially suggested. Despite the controversy, Maddow's show remains one of the most watched cable news programs, and her influence on American political discourse is undeniable. Her unique blend of intelligence, wit, and passion has earned her a dedicated following among liberals and progressives who see her as a champion of their values and a voice for the marginalized. In addition to her work on TV, Maddow is also a best-selling author. Her books, which include Drift, The Unmooring of American Military Power, and Blowout, Corrupted Democracy, Rogue State, Russia, and the Richest, Most Destructive Industry on Earth have been praised for their in-depth analysis and engaging writing style. Maddow's staggering net worth and salary are a testament to her immense success in the highly competitive world of television news. With her new contract at MSNBC, which is reportedly worth $30 million per year, she is well positioned to continue shaping the national conversation and influencing American politics for years to come. However, her critics on the right are unlikely to be silenced anytime soon. They argue that Maddow's success is a symptom of a larger problem in American media, where partisan bias and ideological agendas have replaced objective journalism. Some have even accused her of being a propagandist for the Democratic Party, using her platform to promote a liberal worldview at the expense of the truth. Despite these criticisms, Maddow remains one of the most respected and influential journalists in the United States. Her commitment to in-depth reporting and analysis has earned her numerous awards, including several Emmy Awards and a Gracie Award for her coverage of the Flint water crisis. As Maddow continues to break new ground and set new standards in the world of television news, it is clear that her influence will be felt for generations to come. Whether one agrees with her political views or not, there is no denying the impact she has had on American journalism and the role she has played in shaping the national conversation. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about the salaries of these top news anchors? Do you believe that their compensation is justified based on their influence and the ratings they bring in? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and thank you for watching.